in our previous video about metal cutting, we saw the exaggerated view of the cutting zone normal to the cutting edge. This plane is the orthogonal plane from ORS system. If you can recall the ORS system, this plane right here is the reference plane and this angle that the rake face makes with the reference plane is called rake angle. This is the plane where metal shears and moves up layer by layer. So this is the shear plane and this angle is called the shear plane angle beta. As the tool cuts through the unwanted metal on the workpiece, it experiences three kinds of forces. The major force is the cutting force in z direction. The force in x direction is much lower in magnitude and arises due to the feed, hence it is called the feed force. The force in y direction, generally lowest in magnitude, has a major effect on the accuracy of the job. This system of three perpendicular forces can be simplified for analysis by resolving Px and Py into a single force, Pxy. In case of orthogonal cutting, Pxy would lie on the orthogonal plane, perpendicular to Pz. These two perpendicular forces may be thought of as two chords in a circle with the resultant force as diameter. Moving on to the forces due to friction on the chip. There is a friction when the chip flows over the rake face. The direction of this friction force is downwards. There is also a corresponding normal force on the chip. These two forces can be arranged into a circle, the resultant being the diameter. This particular angle eta is thus the friction angle, that is tan inverse of the coefficient of friction between chip and tool. Now since metal cutting occurs by shearing of layers, there is a shearing force along the shear plane. There is also an associated normal shearing force. This pair of perpendicular forces can also be fit into a circle like the previous two pairs of forces. To maintain the equilibrium, the resultant of each pair must have the same line of action and same magnitude. Thus, we can come up with a circle containing all the three pairs of cutting forces. This circle is known as the merchant's circle or merchant's diagram. We know three angles in this diagram, the rake angle, the shear plane angle and the friction angle. Using geometry and trigonometry, a number of conversion formulas can be derived from this diagram. For example, the shearing forces as well as the friction forces can be expressed in terms of the cutting forces. Similarly, a relation can be derived between the three angles from which many other relations follow. Thus, the merchant circle plays a very important part in calculating and relating the various forces in the cutting zone. For more videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel. Please look at our other videos and share them with your friends if you find them useful. Thanks for watching.